Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. We'll be constructing ang triangles uh, by ASA, angle, side angle, and angle, angle, side. And you will be able to work on 10.7. Today, students will be able to construct congruent triangles by angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side. So it says construct a congruent triangle by angle, side, angle. That means that the side that is congruent to the other side congruent on the other triangle has to be in the middle of the two angles. The side is in the middle of the two angles. And that's called the side is included in the two or by the two angles. Okay. So what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to do, first of all, we're going to copy one angle. Then the second time, the second is we're going to copy um, a side. And it has to be next to the angle that we construct. And then the, o the other angle. And that angle has to be on the other side of the side. Okay, so to be able to copy an angle, remember um, the first thing we need to do is to just draw a line. And I just kind of did a little bit different. It doesn't matter if you want to try to do it. Like if you're talking about um, this angle, then maybe you want to do it something like that. Or again, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it just means that our our triangle is going to be slightly translated and rotated. And so to copy an angle, you draw a line. I'm going to copy angle C. So draw an arc on the triangle or the angle that you're going to copy. And also where you're going to transfer it. So that means that this is going to be my C prime. After I do that, remember, uh, this is the step that a lot of students forget, but you guys won't, because I keep mentioning it. You measure the pizza, pizza crust or the rainbow, okay? And that's just to know how big the pizza crust is going to be on the other one. And so I mark it in there, and that's where my other line will go. After that, I'm going to choose one of the two sides that are going to be congruent on both triangles. And it doesn't matter which one you do, but for the last angle, it is important. If you choose this side, then the other angle that you're going to use is angle B. But if you choose this line, then the other angle is going to be this one. That way you have angle, side, angle, or angle, side, angle. Remember, the side has to be included in the two angles okay so I think hmm, I think I'm gonna choose side BC and I take its measurement and that way it gives me I know where C is C prime but to find B all I have to do is copy that side and mark it and that's my side so I already have angle side now I need the other angle how do I copy the angle just like I did with this one I'm going to copy now angle B and so let me label that B prime so again to copy an angle the first thing you do is, I keep getting the same question. How how far or do I open the, the compass? And I keep saying it doesn't matter as long as you keep this measurement and transfer the same measurement over here. That's the important part. But it doesn't matter if you, if you um, make it a little bit more open or a little 
more closed, it's okay as long as you keep the same measurement here and here. Okay, and how do I know where the other line is gonna go? The other side? Well, that's why we measure our pizza crust or the rainbow. Now somebody called it the moon as well. <laughs> okay, and so it tells me that it needs to be that much open and that means that for that to be open that much, then my line is gonna go through there. By having this angle go, we can then, because this line already exists, we don't know how long it's gonna be and we don't know how long this is gonna be, but however, when we construct both, they meet where point A should be, okay? So, somebody said, oh, teacher, but it doesn't, it doesn't go well. That means that you need to extend the other one, just like it happened to me here. Just extend it a little bit more, and then they will meet so that you can label that A prime. Okay, so we just constructed a congruent triangle by angle side angle okay what does that mean that this angle angle c prime is congruent to angle c that angle b prime is congruent to angle b and the included side is congruent to BC from here is congruent to B prime C prime. Okay, so that's constructing a, a congruent triangle by angle side angle.